Hello. I know that I said I was going to take a break today. Because, yeah, I do need a really, really good rest. But unfortunately for me, um, I actually can't take a break. It has been so difficult to expose murderers and to help the FBI build up a, an investigation. Uh, but then again, I am the great white demon hunter, so no rest for the weary, unfortunately. I was planning on waking up at 1 p.m. today. I set my alarm for 1 p.m., but I had yet another nightmare. I had another dream about Peter, Peter Steele. I can't help it because, you know, he is so dreamy. I found an interview of Typo Negative from 96. Oh, he is just absolutely gorgeous. Like, how he is, like, you know, when he talks, when he's being interviewed, he stands, like, with his chest out and his head held high and his hands behind his back. Mm, he's just so gorgeous. And in this interview, I'll put it in a link in the description down below for you to watch like in your own time. Oh, it's his accent as well and his voice that just drives me wild. What can we say? That was fucking amazing. Typo negative live and you can see that on FTV in Europe. I'm here for five and I'm here with the fellows for typo negative. Some guys I know for a long time. Uh, going back to the uh, cardboard days. My God, it's been a very long time. Uh, we never have a long history. Long and illustrious. Standing here to my right. Peter Steele. We got the main is Kenny over here. It's Kenny here. Over here we got infamous Josh Silver, producer, slash, uh, I don't know, master of gas. And uh, Johnny Kelly. What can you say? Uh, these guys are so negative, they really don't have anything to talk about. Let's talk about your new album. You guys are working on a new record. What's happening? That's correct. Yes, I have some ideas, which I'm sure that I can exploit into a money-making opportunity. Reality for the record company so that we can make someone rich, not just something else. Well, that would be a certain reality of the music business I can certainly relate to. Um, Kenny, tell us, about, uh, tell us about this tour you've just been on. We drank. No, the whole thing. How long you guys been on the road? Uh, 16 months. We're at each other's throats already. Has it been any good fist fights? Look at his arms. Look at his arms. Uh, you know, good fist fights. We have a local cat in this. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, we have a pet bob cat on the bus. <laughs> really? Really? Very good. Typo negative, what can you say? Uh, Josh Silver. Keyboard uh, extraordinaire. They stay on the road because I know we, we've been on the road for 14 months ourselves. We're back for like we're in month 15. You guys are about a month ahead of us. What do you guys do to, to stay keep it together in the head? You know, I would recommend two joints, one point five milligrams of Xanax, spread over six hours, and 18 hours of sleep. Teach is on. I'm living a straight edge. So uh, you're here with Typo Negative, Dynamo, Open Air 95, and uh. We're going to go to some non technical commercials that really don't mean anything at all. And then we're going to see some Paradise Lost, so take it as you please. Yeah, so... So dreamy, isn't he? Anyway, so... Well... Welcome to Spiritual Warfare Academy, actually. I deleted one of my videos that I made. It went for 2 hours and 15 minutes. But I'm not happy with it, so I'm going to talk about, like, what I made in that video, like, what I spoke about in that video in here, because it's relevant, because it's relevant. 
So I'll talk about the nightmare I had well, this morning, like last night, this morning first. I was also getting woken up by police sirens. And every time I woke up, I like went back to the same dream. So I had a dream that I was with Peter Steele. We were walking on the beach. It was in the afternoon, not at night time. Because I don't like being out in the sun. And there was like, you know, other people on the beach as well. And in my dream, Luke and the Quietest Revolution, they kidnapped someone it, right in front of us. And they put like this person in a blender and like blended up their body, like blood, guts and everything. And they were fucking right in front of us. It was really gross though because like Quietus Revolution was on the bottom and Luke was on top. It should be the other way around. And like as they were fucking, they were like pouring like that person's like blood and guts all over themselves and like rubbing themselves in it. It was... <sighs> then I woke up thankfully. But it's just annoying because I only wanted to, like, you know, be with Peter. So, yeah, I'm just, like, really disturbed about, like, the nightmares that I've been having as of late. So, um, we're going to be using a few people as an example in my case study for tonight. So, last night when I was relaxing after I finished work... Nisha Divine Tarot said LMAO, which means laugh my ass off. I did not know this. I was watching a reading. She said there be people in Hollywood slash industry who you don't know, but they know you. They will try to stop your journey because you're supposed to be a star. Let me find out. It's a game they play and they watch in and they be watching certain people. Alright. Okay. Okay. Well. It's my turn to strike back. My turn to strike back. First of all. First of all. Daisy did say. Daisy did say that. I'm going to be shocked to find out what celebrities are involved in this shit. Like putting my name into bullshit. Trying to frame me, set me up, etc. And also to hide dead bodies. So I already know what to expect. I already know what to expect. Anyway. Second. Out of all. Out of like. All of my goals. Being in a Hollywood movie is not one of them. When I did think about it, I was thinking, yeah, it would be fun. It would be fun to like be an, be an extra in a movie. But, you know, because I want to have babies soon. We, we all know like how hard how much time and effort goes into having a baby and raising them as well as like my own as well as like you know saving the world so that's dumb isn't it third <laughs> you all well, you're celebrity, so you you all have your own following. You have your own fan base. If you are not getting any roles, it's because no one wants to hire you. It has nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me. I got no interest in even traveling to Hollywood. Let alone being in a... F whatever. Whatever. So, I was like, okay, okay. Dumb as fuck. 
Dumb as fuck. Then, yeah, because I, I was following Hilary Duff on um, Instagram because I liked her when she was in, like, when I was watching Younger, you know, supporting careers, supporting, like, you know, her career as, a, as an actress. And Spiritual OG put on her Instagram something about Hillary, you're in deep shit or you're in big trouble. So I was like, I don't know what that's about. Then I just had a feeling, I just had a feeling when I saw her in Gossip Girl. So I started, on, un so I started unfollowing her and I started unfollowing Molly Bernard. Bernard or whatever, however the fuck you pronounce her last name. Then the next thing I knew, there were there were like there were like people shooting outside my apartment. So, beloved ancestors, tell me about Hillary. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. Hillary Duff, you look. You have a big face. You have a really like ugly masculine jawline, and you look like you have a big vagina. So I'm going to call you Big Muff. Tell me about H Hillary Big Muff. Okay. She's not the only one that did that though. So what she was doing, so what you were doing is because you have children, because you have children and because of the tragedies that I've had in the past, you know, with my own miscarriages and whatnot. So you were putting pictures of your children. One is a baby, one is like a toddler. Because you thought that it would upset me. You were trying to get me upset because you have children and because I've had tragedies in regards to that. To try and like make me feel like shit, to like push me back. Right. Um, obviously, you d obviously you weren't paying attention. Obviously you weren't paying attention to anything that I've said because you're fucking dumb when before that happened before that happened okay when I found out when I was reading gossip on social media that I'm pregnant because remember people were getting like samples out of my toilet to find out if I was pregnant which was filthy which is disgusting that is like putrid I went to the clinic I even asked, like, I even asked them at the clinic to print out my results. They lied to my face and said that I wasn't pregnant when I was. They gave me the results on paper, negative. All right? Then, when I was doing my cards, I kept getting like the Queen of Swords and the Page of Swords together in readings. I have never gotten that combination to get like together at the same time. 
when I looked it up on Google, it said miscarriage. It means a miscarriage. And I was confused because I was like, hang on. I just went to the clinic. They told me that I wasn't pregnant. Then I had a miscarriage. Okay. So my spirit, so spirit was warning me that I'm going to have a miscarriage. Now, when I do my cards, when I ask what's in my immediate future, I get the Empress and the Sun card regularly, regularly in readings. The Empress with the Sun card nearby means a successful pregnancy. All right. So I was supposed I went through that. And somehow, just somehow, it started rounding up and exposing murderers. It fucking sucked. It still does. But you just learned, you just learned to live with the grief. But when I was like looking at pictures of your children, when I was looking at, pi at pictures of your children, I wasn't actually feeling sad. That didn't even remind me of my miscarriage, actually. I was just like, oh, that is so cute, so adorable. Didn't even think of it. So, yeah, you're a cunt. You're a cunt. You're not also, like, you are not the first person that's done that either. Like, Steve Forrest, who was the ex drummer of, place of Placebo, he put a post up of him and his son, and he said something like, the flame has officially has officially been passed. Whatever. So I I think I like to put like that emoji with like the love heart eyes. And his wife put like something really mean up. Um it was like a picture of her in Rome and she was like, the next time I go to Rome, I'm I'm gonna be with like my love and my child and motherhood and blah 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 thinking that I was going to, like, you know, feel, like, some kind of way about that. Like, to, like, upset me or something. I don't know. I just know everything. I just know everything. I'm the Supreme. And you're just... <sighs> fucking losers. Someone's popping off fi fireworks outside, which is quite dangerous, actually. But oh well. So, what I am being told is, there weren't so many voices. One person speak at a time. Yeah, so it's exactly what I thought then. So it's, so it's exactly what I thought then. So as soon as I started unfollowing her, she thought, she immediately panicked and yeah. And s then there was people like, you know, shooting guns outside my apartment. And I already know that people were shooting guns outside my apartment to make it look like that it was me that was bringing violence around to get me evicted to make it easier for me to to get murdered or something like that so yeah that is pitiful that is pitiful and pathetic actually police sirens going off but i actually don't have time to stop um, I just want to have my champagne, do my job, and then go and relax because, quite frankly, I'm over. Th I'm over this. I'm over this. I'm over this. I've got indictments. Like there are not me, but there are going to be indictments and lawsuits coming up. So I've got to like get myself ready for that too. Okay. At the same time. I've got to keep my, my foot on the gas, keep everything moving forward. So I really don't have time to 
fight with fuckheads that are several levels beneath me. But I've got time now because even though it's Saturday, it's my um, my special day to myself. I've got a little bit of time to spare. Now, Molly Bernard. Okay. Hillary Big Muff and Molly Bernard. And they're friends because, like, I guess they became friends when they were younger. Hillary put up on her Instagram not that long ago saying, you already know who, who you are supposed to be. Trust. Molly Bernard also put up, like, you know, see you on the other side. Then she put up another sign, another, like, thing on her stories that said, please do not let anyone help you or get close to you. All right. For one, Gonzo. For one, Gonzo. Um, <laughs> I've got... A lot of people keeping me protected and safe okay so there are a lot of people helping me already all right second I'm not a threat to you I'm not a threat to you you're a threat to yourself you're a threat to yourself you are ugly you are ugly I didn't even know who the fuck you were until I saw you in Younger for the first time. I thought you were, like, funny. So I started following you just in case you're in something else. So I'm going to assume if you are not getting any roles or any other movie deals, what have you, it's because you are ugly. You are ugly. You have bad teeth. And you have a massive nose like Gonzo. Maybe you put on some weight around your face to even it out a bit. Your nose won't stand out as much. But it has nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me whatsoever. And um, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything that I say because I say exactly what I mean. When I'm angry, sometimes sometimes I do regret what I say when I'm angry. But in this case, I don't think I'm going to regret it. I'm just telling you the truth about you. You are hideous. That's why you never found a man. That's why you only married someone that looks like a man. I'm attracted to women. Don't get me wrong, I am attracted to women. I do sleep with women. And I sleep with men. So, yeah, that's definitely, um, I'm going to take that as just jealousy and envy. To fucking endanger my life like that. To set me up. Put my name into bullshit. Because you think that I'm a threat to fucking Hollywood. Well... You know, putting my name into bullshit is not, wasn't smart to do. Was not smart at all. Covering up for murderers, rapists, pedophiles. You're all, you're all getting caught up. You're all getting caught up. I'm going to sue the fuck out of all of you. And yeah, I am pressing charges. I am pressing charges. And quite frankly, Hollywood has gotten a bit stale. So it's going to be good to get some fresh faces in there once all the trash is taken out. 
Yes, yes. I do remember Daisy did say that. You fuckheads were getting people to pop off fireworks and guns around my apartment to make it look like it was me. Okay. Well, that's simply not true because, like, I've been doing this video while there were fireworks popping off outside. I know that I'm being watched inside my apartment. But I'm safe inside my apartment. It's whoever is setting off the fireworks out there. That's extremely dangerous. So you're actually putting your own life at risk. Just saying, you're not putting me at risk. And um, yeah, Molly, I am getting married. I am having children. And I am going to be with someone that's loyal to me. That's loyal, faithful, strong. And our children are going to be gorgeous. If they're sons, if we have sons, they're going to be hierophants. And if they're girls, well, they're going to be equally as powerful. Nothing like you. Nothing like you, thankfully. But as I said, that's not going to happen. I'm not starting, I'm not going to be dating or sleeping with anyone until all this is done and dusted and you morons are in prison. Yeah, so don't ask for forgiveness because I've got a great life anyway. So, <sighs> forgiving you, not forgiving you. doesn't bother me any either way um but you know that whole like miscarriage situation that was unfortunate unfortunate I just learned to live with my grief I just learned to live with my grief and I know that the spirit of my baby is still with me and there are laws against the murder of an unborn child. So yeah, you're just baby murderers. Baby murderers. So. I know. I know. Like when Daisy said that there, that I'm gonna be shocked at how many celebrities are like involved in all of this shit. I'm gonna be shocked. So, you know, I actually had to. I'm not thinking about it too much because like my mind is on other things right now. I'm excited to have babies. I'm excited to get married. Have a really beautiful wedding. And I wake up every single day. I just cannot believe it because I love my job so much. I love my job so much. You have no idea. So much that I could be watching Marcel right now on NCIS or CSI, whatever that show is. But instead I'm working. I just saw a, another YouTuber put up a video and it said, all eyes on you. Literally, I'm under a private investigation. Okay. Ooh, la la. And Unique Tarot LLC put up this video. It's in. T it's called Plotting Revenge. Jealous of the position you're in. Nothing to lose, so they're coming for you. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. So let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. I am under private investigation because some people have been charged already. Some people are sitting in prison and some people have actually lost, lost their lives because of your fuckery. But I'm not under investigation. Yeah. <sighs> okay. So Ginger and me, who I don't follow on Instagram, I don't, I don't think. <laughs> I 
This other one said, every situation, handle every situation like a dog. If you can't eat it or play with it, just pee on it and walk away. That's not very ladylike, is it? So, um, yeah, this Ginger and Me moron page that I don't follow on Instagram said that everything that I'm searching for is within me. I know that. But I still want to have a family. And someone to snuggle with. Yeah. Someone to share my life with. So, what business is it of yours? Fuck off. So anyway, I actually had to like, you know, think about this because I just assumed that like the, cele the celebrities, celebrities that already like, you know, have fame and fortune and whatever. Why the fuck would they be so concerned with me though? Because like, I've already shared my own goals, what I'm looking for in life and they have nothing that I want or desire at all. So why the fuck would people that are um, like millionaires be attacking someone they don't even know? They know of me but they don't know me. That answer is super easy though, because, uh, well to me it's super easy, but I don't think that, I just don't think that everyone's on this spiritual path. I think there are a lot of skeptics out there, or there are just people that, you know, like the macho men that aren't in touch with their spiritual side because, I don't know, they think it's like weak or something. I don't know. So, um, like why would Hillary Big Muff like also be involved in like you know trying to set me up to make it easy for me to get murdered it's in their dna it's in their dna killer instincts run in the blood killer instincts run in the blood That's all it is to it. When things come naturally to someone, when things come so naturally to someone like that, it's because it's in the blood. Police sounds are going off. It's in their DNA. That's why I say, like, you know, live... Oh, actually, no, I didn't say that. Someone else said it. But I agree with what they said. Because I don't believe in taking credit away from other people, especially when I learn, like, from them. I think it was Tinker Triple Moon Inspiration said, like, live every life as if, like, you're bringing karma into the next life. Something along those lines. It is. So, like, if you are a... If you're experiencing a lot of failure or not success in this life, it's because you are paying off past life karma. Oh, those signs are going off like crazy. <laughs> I'm on sham shams tonight. I've had beer like all week, so shams is a nice, a nice treat. Then I probably won't be drinking next week, but then, like, I'll have a few beverages the following week. Like, everything um, in moderation. Everything in moderation. I don't have a drinking problem. I just like to... I like to relax with a, with a beverage before I start uh, cranking out my babies. Because I won't be drinking or vaping or anything when they come. When they're here. Just in case, just in case, I've never mentioned this before. Opeth, oh my god, they're one of my favorite bands to listen to, especially when it's raining. They're another amazing band.
They're metal, if you're into metal. They are so good. I like everything. I like some pop. I like a bit of, I like a bit of rap. I like a bit of alternative, bit of indie, bit of this, bit of that. I'm, I also like some country singers too. So like I've got a very like diverse, very, very like, you know, diverse selection of music that I listen to. But yeah, Opeth. I love Opeth. So anyway, Harvest by Opeth just came up on my YouTube. So yeah, I love Opeth. I love Opeth. Yeah, so it's just in their DNA. It's just in their DNA. It's in their Akashic Records. That's why, for, uh, like, forensics, detectives, everyone should learn how to read astrology charts because their DNA tells on them. It's in their birth charts. It's all in their birth charts. Don't care if you believe it or not, it just is. Akashic Records don't lie. And Daisy also told me that Daisy also told me that a lot of you were doing rituals to try and like switch destinies with me. Really. And what ingredients did you use for those rituals? The pubes that you got off my waxing strips in my trash? What? Disgusting. And why the fuck am I under a private investigation? As that reader said, when I'm here filming and there are police sirens popping off around me when I'm not doing anything. Hmm, interesting. That's the only DNA that I can think of that anyone would find in my garbage. Yeah. Police sirens are going off. Oh well. This vape juice, oh my god, is so tasty. I want to drink it, but I can't. It's mango and strawberry, and it also has menthol in it. So I'm just enjoying it while while I still can because, you know, when I have my babies, I won't be vaping or drinking. So, yeah, um, when I was talking about the importance of self-love is, see, like, you know, people that target me are millionaires themselves. Are millionaires themselves but they're not happy they're not happy they're fucking miserable and that's why they try to make my life miserable too because like I said misery loves company so they're not happy within themselves they're broken within themselves so if money can't like money doesn't make people happy I mean like sure it makes things easier but it doesn't make them happy Obviously, like, look at the filth, like, look at the filth that they're involved in. And it's filth. It is absolutely putrid. But, as I said, misery, misery loves company. So, yeah, we're going to be using, like, celebrities as a case study in this instance. So, celebrities that have millions of dollars... They've got clout, they've got millions of followers on their Instagram or their Twitter or their Facebook or whatever they use. And they wanted to become an actor, an actor, an actress. That was another one of their dreams come true. But they're still trying to make other people miserable and trying to break other people, trying to break other people as well. To be as miserable as they are. That's why I say it's always like, you know, important to seek happiness and fulfill within yourself first. Within yourself first. But I'm also 
because like that's what I believe I only choose like I only believe in what I choose to believe in so like I believe that their killer instincts are just in their blood and that's it that's it but it's like they're just born that way and remember in the video that I made about the shadow about your shadow side like people are some people are just born evil because it's in their DNA it's in their blood it's in their Akashic record but there's still no excuse they still need to be held accountable for what they do and now they're trying to do work on my throat they're trying to close up my throat so I can't talk if my voice cranks out it cranks out but you can still understand what I'm what I'm saying because <clears throat> I don't have like any dick or any mucus like in my throat so yeah they're trying to close up my throat now I'm done I'm done talking about fuckwits I'm done talking about fuckwits so when you come to me and you think oh Jess why is this person like that why is that person like that that's just how they are it's in their DNA nothing that you can say or do will change them or fix them you cannot change another person whatsoever sorry <laughs> don't think like it's nothing to do with you it's just to do with like you know with them and just my grandmother has had this saying and she said to me well I told her that I was getting <laughs> bullied in kindergarten but I wasn't I was like I was actually really selfish with all the toys and I didn't want to like share any of the toys with the other kids so they got cross with me and <laughs> yeah so I said to my grandmother that they're bullying me and she said to me how old are you in kindergarten like five four or five years old she said to me stay away from shit that stinks because think about it, if a dog craps in your backyard, do you go and play with it? No, because it stinks and it's disgusting. You just like pick it up and throw it out. You don't, yeah, you don't um, play with it. Unless you like these people that like playing in shit. Ugh, disgusting. Disgusting. So, um, yeah, the video that I deleted that I'm going to talk about in here, I was really, I was really agitated. I was really agitated when I was making that because it was about that million dollar murder plot, right? I mean, like a million bucks, a million bucks. You could not pay, like, you could not pay me any amount of money to go and disrupt someone's life or to go and like you know try get someone murdered so I was just agitated about that like that whole day because it was just like oh there was just police sirens like going off like every fucking 20 minutes and they were loud and yeah I didn't end up having a nap that day either so I was just tired and cranky um Coincidentally, coincidentally, I got an update from Internet, Internet Movie Database about Scream 4 coming out because recently, last month, as we were going into Halloween, I, was, I watched all the Scream movies for the first time, right? And in the first Scream movie, the first Scream movie, one of the murderers was a murderer. And no, it was a second Scream movie, the second Scream movie. Tim Oliphant, I think that's what his last name is. He was he's an actor in Scream too. He was also in the Dreamcatcher and First Wives Club and other things that I've seen him in. And so he went around murdering people because he wanted to like, you know, go to, go to go like through a murder trial. And he wanted to blame it on horror films, on slasher films. And video games 
Um, no. That is actually, like, I do not believe that is a valid excuse. I do not believe that movies and video games can actually make anyone murder, like, become a killer at all. I don't think so at all. Look at everything that I've been through. Look at everything that I've been through. And I don't think about killing people. Yeah, I threaten people. Like, last night I threatened to break Molly Bernard's nose in three places. I wouldn't do it, though. I wouldn't do it, though. Well, okay. So, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If she had the balls to knock on my front door and start anything with me face to face, yeah, I would break her nose in three places. Because for one, she's trespassing and I'm allowed to, um, I'm allowed to defend myself if someone is trespassing. Like, I'm allowed to beat the crap out of someone for trespassing. Self-defense. So if, yeah, like I said, if she had the balls to come to my front door, knock on it, and say anything to my face, I would break her nose in three places. I would break her nose. I'd break her legs. I'd break up. I would start with the cheekbones then the nose, then the legs. Um, I do believe that video games, I do believe like in video games, so like, I'm not going to name any names because like they can sue me. <sighs> but video games, there is a lot of violence in video games. I do believe that they can desensitize young children but I don't think that that is reason enough. Like, I just don't think that you can blame video games or slasher films for violence whatsoever. Because we all grow up. We all... We just know what is right and what is wrong. We are the ones that make the choice to do the right thing or, do, or to do the wrong thing. So, like, you know, I've made choices in my life that, you know, at the time, like, I didn't know any better. But, you know, it's just like, fuck, well, I would never do that again. So, like, I would never, like, you know, take hard drugs to cope with, like, depression or trauma ever again because... Uh, yeah, I went through that experience and it didn't, I didn't get the result that I wanted out of it at all. It just numbed my pain and my grief and whatever else I was going through, but <laughs> I would never do that again. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't murder someone. I wouldn't murder someone to get their ins their life insurance and like yeah i don't like bring crap and chaos into people's lives just because i'm crazy or jealous i'm just not like that i'm just not like that at all because like i've got a moral compass so I just like, I just choose to do the right thing. Always. So, uh, I mean, like, I can't prove this. I can't prove this. You're just going to have to take my word for it. Um, I was getting groceries delivered. Not bad either. It's only six bucks a bottle. Mm -hmm. Um, and I love cherries. Like cherries, are my favorite fruit ever. <clears throat> and there was like this chalk cherry, like cherry ripe. 
alcohol drink that I'm gonna get like try that next time I go to the bottle store but I just wanted some champagne for tonight so you just gonna have to take my word on this I can't prove it but it did happen so a few weeks ago I was getting I got groceries delivered and they also gave me a bag of someone else's groceries which had like cake twisties chocolate crumpets other shit I can't remember but okay I was thinking <clears throat> I was thinking all right well it's their mistake it's their mistake so I'm not gonna call them but because I was like well I have someone else's groceries like they paid for them like they paid for those groceries so um I almost didn't because it was just too much of an inconvenience for me to like call up like the customer care hotline for the supermarket but then I just felt so guilty I was like no I've got to do this I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this so I did I stayed on the line for like 30 minutes eventually they took my call and like the customer service assistant that I spoke to he said well you know because of COVID we can't actually like you know come and collect the groceries and then deliver them to the person that, that they belong to so um just feel free to like you know use whatever you want in there or give it to my neighbors or just do whatever I want with it so I was like okay fine there was cake in there I love Last time I actually remember buying cake was at the beginning of the year from the cheesecake shop, which was which I got carrot cake, but that cake was delicious. Now, when I went and saw Aladdin with my brother, I am very particular about the seats at the at the movie theater. I like to be like in the middle of whatever aisle that I'm in. And we were given like shit seats, so like at the side. And there was like one person that sat next to me, and the rest of their group was sitting next to my brother. So when they were like talking to each other, they were like, you know, talking like across, like in front of us. It was uncomfortable. And so my brother offered for us to like you know switch seats with them so their group was like all together because we were in the middle of their group and we ended up getting the middle seats the seats that i actually wanted and my brother said to me see you get rewarded when you're kind you do you absolutely 100 percent do get rewarded and i got rewarded with cake That's why I said, like, don't feel guilty when you are doing the right thing or you're doing good things and you keep getting rewarded by the most time with God. Don't feel guilty. Like, they want you, they, like, they're going to be rewarding you with whatever the fuck you want. So that's why, that's incentive enough just to be kind and just to do the right thing. It's your choice at the end of the day. Your choice. No one can choose your choices for you. Ever. So yeah, I'm not really like... I am not impressed with how much money someone has. How much clout they have. Or their title I just care what kind of a person they are if they're a decent person or not yep yep as long as you are working or doing something with your life that doesn't involve like bringing bullshit into another person's life 
I also have not intentionally, and believe me, like it wasn't intentional at all. I, it just slipped my mind. It just slipped my mind. When I was talking about trauma, when I was talking about how to, you know, cope with trauma and I, it slipped my mind. I forgot to, mention that there are people that have that now have post-traumatic stress from being in the military or in combat fighting for our freedom Even though we shouldn't be fighting for freedom, it's our divine birthright. First of all, like, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I can only imagine, well, I've only seen it in movies and on the news. I haven't experienced it firsthand. What you would actually be seeing and experiencing in an actual war zone. And I am sorry that you have post-traumatic stress and you're probably ever, never, ever going to be the same again. But you can thank the ancestors of these fuckheads And these actual fuckheads that still try to bring it into filth and pain and suffering into the world. It's actually not supposed to be like this. It is not supposed to be like this whatsoever. Like, I remember that when I started watching The Handmaiden's Tale. I'm still on season one. I'm still on season one. I tried watching another episode the other night, but I couldn't. I couldn't. I want to watch it because I want to know like how it turns out. And I want to know if there is a happy ending, but it's just too brutal. It's too brutal to watch. Every single episode has made me cry. <laughs> and like it said that it's a dystopian world. No, it's not actually because one of the characters in there said like, you know, that place they live in was actually designed to break them. No, the world we live in now is designed to break us. The matrix that we live in is designed to break us. There's systematic oppression. There is a hierarchy. It's not supposed to be like that at all. Everything that has happened in that show does actually happen in reality, in in the world right now, as as we speak. So anyway, yeah, that's just what you need to know about um, people. What you need to know about people. Yes, when you come across a turd. Well, yeah, when you come when you come across it when you come across a turd, just remember what my grandmother used to say to me: "Stay away from shit that stinks. That stinks." Well, I don't want to be around people that stinks. That's why I'm perfectly happy being by myself. Well, for now. I'm enjoying my singality before I get married. Before I get married. It's like, uh, it's spiritual warfare. They're trying to like, you know, break your spirit, break your soul. Bullies, trolls, fucking politicians. Yeah, 
I think one of our case studies was politicians. Gavin Newsom. Yeah. Just remember that reprobates are predestined to damnation. So they're reprobate. They're paying off karmic debt. So they're at, like in this lifetime. They can either choose to keep carrying on being murderers and whatever the fuck, thieves, whatever. Or they can start repenting and change and turn their lives around. But I don't think they will because like it's in their DNA, it's in their blood. They just can't help it. They're predestined to damnation. So stay the fuck away from them. Anyone that tries it like anything people that like drain you, that's spiritual warfare, that's it's waging war on your soul. That's spiritual warfare. War is spiritual warfare. You know, people getting killed on the battlefields, then us sitting at home watching on the news, that affects us. That's, that's spiritual warfare too. It's whatever wages war on your soul is spiritual warfare. So if money and clout, like, like I said, people that chase clout, that have money, that are still miserable, well, it's because they're fucking reprobate and they're broken on the inside. It's nothing to do with you or me or anyone else. It's just to do with them. They're just fucked. So just stay away from the shit that stinks. <sighs> Simple. So, um... That's all for tonight, folks. Class dismissed. I've got half a glass of champs, and I've got like, I don't know, like a quarter of a bottle left in the fridge. So I'm going to um, unwind, 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 really relax. I'm not an alcoholic. I haven't relapsed. I haven't fallen back into substance abuse. I just find that, you know, with meditation and, and prayer, like, this relaxes me and gives you, like, that really nice buzz, which makes it easier to sleep, because I can't sleep because I'm haunted by nightmares. And I actually have to go to war with these motherfuckers. And I'm not scared of any of you. All right? I've been training for this my whole life. So you think that I'm scared of you? You have another thing coming. Yeah, it's been fucking hard. It's been fucking hard. But like Daisy said, the, the feds have enough, enough to build up a case against you, cunts. That's right, I said it. That's why I said it. Okay? So, um, sorry to all you dumb fuck, whoever you are in Hollywood, but I was never a threat to you. Like I said, it would be fun to be an extra in a film, but of all the things that I wish to achieve within my career, being a Hollywood movie star isn't one of them. And I do like watching movies. I do like watching TV shows. I am more than happy to support your careers. But <laughs> targeting me, targeting me. Mm -mm. <sighs> big mistake big mistake big mistake you have your own shit I've got my own shit whatever so um, I just have to go I have to go now um, so until whenever you hear from me next, whenever you hear from me next, until then, I love you, 
stay healthy. We still have COVID. Stay safe and be kind always. Be kind always. All right. I don't know what I'm going to watch now. Like, I've already missed Marcel on. Is it CSI or NCIS? NCIS. So, I'm going to put on something with someone sexy. I'm going to put my Pluto Pops. Pluto pops in the oven and put on something with someone sexy. <gasps> Gossip Girl, because I love, I love Chuck Bass. Mm, 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 mm. He is sexy. Does it have green eyes? He doesn't have dark skin, but he is sexy. Very, very sexy. Oh, and I ate your, I ate your Halloween. I ate your Halloween candy prize. But that's okay because I want you to stay in shape. So, sorry about that. Oh my god, I'm actually really drunk now. And that was like a little over half a bottle of champagne. So yeah, I'm actually a very, very like lightweight, lightweight drinker. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get out of here. Um, I'm just over it. I'm just over it. Like, I'm tired. I am so tired dealing with murderers and, like, pedophiles, rapists, human traffickers, trafficking humans, organ harvest trafficking, uh. and ugly bum bitches one hit wonders in hollywood i'm over it i'm over it i'm over it so um yeah again until next time i love you bye